What's up, sassy gang? Yo. Um, today we are going to be embroidering a baby onesie, a newborn onesie. So here goes the onesie. We're going to be doing this in the hoop. I have a brother, Luminaire XP1. So let's get started. Okay, so here's everything that we're going to be using today. We're going to be using the newborn onesie, a 5x7 hoop. Um, the customer, she wants it to be um, these three colors plus the white and black. And I'll, I'll show you guys the picture of what we're going to be embroidering in a moment. Um, we're going to be using our fabric scissors and our applique scissors, but it's not an applique. It's just going to be embroidered straight on. Um, and then as well, we're going to be using the cutaway stabilizer. I got this big roll from Amazon. I'm just going to cut it to measure this five by seven hoop. So let's go ahead and let's do that now and then I'll hoop it. So we're just gonna cut off a piece. too big let me go ahead and trim it up I know I'm wasting stabilizer but it's okay guys all right so we're not gonna hoop the onesie we're just gonna hoop the stabilizer and we're gonna float the stabilizer when we are embroidering So go ahead and get that in the hoop. And I know my hoop is a little bit junky. That's just from the spray adhesive. Um, but I can, you know, you can just wipe that off. And then we're gonna tighten. We wanna make sure the stabilizer is not too tight. Um, you can also use a double stabilizer depending on your fabric or how thick your onesie is. But today I'm just going to use the single stabilizer. You know what, it is a little bit thin. So I'm gonna, let's double this up. So we're gonna double the stabilizer only because um, this detail is so complex for this little baby onesie. So I just wanna make sure we have enough support all right, so this is everything we're gonna be using today. We're gonna be using the baby onesie, the five by seven hoop that came with my machine, um, two pieces of cutaway stabilizer because the, the detail on this little onesie is gonna be so complex and I wanted to be able to hold up um, and look nice for my, for my um, customer. And then we're gonna be using these three pretty colors and the black and the white okay so we're gonna go ahead and get this stabilizer hooped up so you're gonna go ahead and place that in your hoop right there we're not gonna hoop the onesie we're gonna float the onesie on top of the hoop and we're just gonna use a little bit of spray of adhesive Loosen this up a little bit. Use a little bit of spray adhesive so that it can hold. Okay, so that's in there. Give it a little pull, not too hard. We just wanna tighten it up and then we're gonna tighten. Let's loosen, let's tighten. All right, so your stabilizer is hooped. So now we're gonna go ahead. So in order to, because I don't have a multi-needle, I have um, this, I'll show you guys when I get over there, but I have a single needle. Um, we're gonna have to turn this inside out and I'll show you exactly how to do that. I like to put a crease in the middle just to get the center point. 
so little, so cute. going to lay that flat and now we're just going to fold this right in half <clears throat> matching up the seams to get that center point So you just want to double check, shoulder seams match, underarm seams, they're matching up, side seams. Okay, perfect. So now we are going to take our iron and we're just going to press. Let me get the ironing mat. So we're gonna take our arm, we're just gonna press it just to get that, that crease in the middle so when we go to hoop it, we'll know our center point. In my machine, it actually has, um, it has a camera built into it. So placement is going to be a lot easier for me, but I'll show you guys how to do it if you're embroidering it on um, like a Brother PE 800 or a Brother PE 770, I'll show you how to do it like that. I don't need that anymore. Okay, so we're gonna take our adhesive, temporary, temporary adhesive spray and we're gonna spray our hoop. I recommend you spray this outside but I'm not gonna go outside and spray it because it's not necessary all right so I like to line up the edge of the collar to the edge of my hoop go straight down the center seam and there's two little notches we're gonna line that up just like that okay and press that down Make sure that's nice and flat on there. Pull up half of it and press the other side down. All right, so that way when we are embroidering, all we have to do is pull this piece up and we'll be embroidering on the front side of the shirt. So it's gonna take um, a little bit of maneuvering and stretching, but not stretching too much. If you want to, you can also go in with some pins and just pin around the edges, and which I probably will just do. So we're just gonna pin along the edges. And I'm gonna pin the other side. Make sure you pin close to the, the edges so that your needle doesn't hit your pins. All right, so here we have it. We have one pin on that side and then we have another pin on this side. All right, so now that we are all hooped up, uh-oh, I pinned the sleeve. Let's try to repin. <laughs> all right, so we are repinned. So now we're gonna take it to our sewing machine, our embroidery machine, and we're gonna pull up the design. Let's go. All right, so we're here at our sewing machine. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull up the design. And this is gonna be in a five by seven hoop. 
we're gonna set that so this is okay so this is how long it takes and how many color changes we have so then we're gonna go to embroider and we're gonna go ahead and put our hoop in I'm just threading my threading my white. All right, so now we're gonna do the the placement. Let's see where this is going to line up on our shirt. And pretty much if you guys don't have this feature, you can just trace on your machine. There should be like a trace option. I have the Brother PE600. I don't have the um, PE800 or any other um, machine, but my PE600, um, I was able to like trace the outline. That way you can see like where the top point is and then where the bottom point is. But um, on here, I'm not sure if it's hard to see you can kind of see where it's going to start, how it's going to look. Let me zoom a little bit. Okay, so that's where it's going to start, right here. So the neck part is right here. And it's so small, it's going to be like, it's going to take up the entire onesie. So let me pull that down, see how that's going to look. Yeah, <laughs> that's going to take up the entire onesie. But I think it's going to be cute. Let's see. Okay. All right, let's get started. So we're going to pull the back of our onesie on the other side of the needle. So that we can see the area that we're going to be embroidering. Sorry if my hand is in the way. I don't really have the best angle. So I'm going to try to do what I can. Hold on one second. I'm going to have to move you guys angle. y'all so just the update i am i had my mother helping me record but it didn't work out how i thought it was gonna work out because i thought i like i could record and stitch this stuff out and talk but y'all i gotta focus this little thing is so small and i'm trying to watch my fingers so <laughs> um i'm gonna try to do bits and pieces but you basically want to let, you know, your design stitch out, change the colors. Also make sure you guys just notice your tension. Tension is, is huge. It can honestly like make or break your, um, your design. So just some little chit chat. Some things that I really want to do um, with the YouTube channels or the YouTube with our YouTube channel um, is just like mainly like a how-to videos and um, vlogs. So a part of the Sister So Sassy's 
it's me, my sister Mina, and my niece Sassy. So that's where we get our name Sister So Sassy from. I started sewing about two years ago. I always wanted to learn how to sew. So people in my family know how to sew, but nobody never wanted to teach me. So I went out, searched for a sewing machine. It was, it's a funny story. I'm gonna have to tell you guys that story <laughs> when my sister is with me, but, but anyways. We end up just going to Joann's and that's when I found out about Joann's. So we end up going to Joann's. I seen, um, I seen a regular sewing machine. I think it was like a brother quilting machine or something like that. It was probably about $160 or something. Got that, brought it home, hooked it up, started sewing. Started making like um, dread socks, like lock socks to protect your hair because we do have locks. My sister has locks too. So um, that was something that I wanted to sew for us and go into business, you know, for like, for like um, lock socks. So we ended up doing that. I ended up learning the basics of that machine. And the funny part about that is like, I outgrew that machine within <laughs> two weeks. I grew that machine within two weeks, took it back. And I had ordered um, my brother PE 400, 400, PE 600, yeah, PE 600. And that's when I got into embroidery. And so that machine goes up to a 4x4. Four four. Husqvarna Viking machine and I had the um, Ruby Royale found that machine on Facebook marketplace it's a really good machine but I just kept having like tension issues and like thread breakage and it would frustrate me to the point where I was just like I don't want to do it anymore but I had that machine, I got that machine like the start of the pandemic of 2020, that machine. And then I like started making masks and stuff. So that machine, you know, helped us out, make us a lot of money. And with the money that I made from that machine, I bought this machine. And I was actually going into the dealer to get a multi-needle, the brother, um, I think it's the PRX N55. I was actually going in to get that machine. And I still, that's like my green machine. I'm still gonna go back and get that machine, but um, they were sold out at the moment. And at that moment, like my husband on a Viking, it was um, giving me so much problems that I was just like, you know what? I'm, I'm thinking about getting this brother luminaire. Like, I can grow with it. I do. I love quilting. I love sewing. And I love embroidery. So it's like a three in one. It's a win win. So I end up coming home, researching what this machine has to offer. And it's, you know, it basically has everything that I need for my business. And I came home, researched it, and it actually, like, exceeded my expectations so went back purchased the machine um and came home that was it from there this is looking really cute sorry you guys can't see 
So right now it's stitching the heaven in gold. Let me slow the machine down a little bit because right now it's going at 10.50. Let me put it at 900. This is a really complex design. It's still going to go fast, but it's not going to go as fast. And I'll be able to see a huge difference. As you see, I can talk about sewing and embroidery all day. Um, <laughs> it's just, it's so relaxing for me. Like it's, it's honestly therapeutic. They say crafting is cheaper than a therapist. I don't think so. Like I know multiple crafters and once you pick up one thing, my first thing was um, the Cricut for air and I'm like okay I want to do something else let's do something else embroidery okay how can I use embroidery with the Cricut air design with the Cricut um explore okay so I can cut fabric on it nice so I can do fabric cut the fabric and then embroider it on the shirts okay let's do that so I do started that then I kept seeing people do sublimation. Got into sublimation. I absolutely love sublimation. I wish I would have started sublimation like at the beginning of the pandemic to help with, you know, the mask flow. But I didn't. So um, we were using the vinyl with the mask. So, like I said, I'll do a video on a lot of the different items that we created. Alright, so our embroidery design is all finished. So this is what the back looks like, the front. So we are going to take out our pin. And unhoop it.
All right, we're gonna cut around the stabilizer and then we're going to put um, some silky tender touch on the back of the design so that it doesn't um, scratch the baby or anything like that. So right now I'm just gonna cut right around it. Cutting close to the design but not too close. All right, y'all, so that's the conclusion of today's video. Um, if you like the content that you've seen today with the embroidery with the Brother Luminaire XP1 um, and this beautiful little baby onesie, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Until next time, the sassy way.